As always, you can find this code in my GitHub repository and you can also just remove the main method and the static component. This is mainly just for us to test whether everything works correctly in this code. And then we just add this part here and then we can run the algorithm. This is, if you've watched the other videos, you know what's, uh, what it is, but if you didn't, this is just to check whether the array um, has added everything correctly and this also helps us to understand the code better. So the array pretty much just, um, well the insertion sort algorithm pretty much just takes the first element, remembers it, then adds the second element to it, compares these two, is 12 bigger than 13? No, so this is pretty much our sub uh, array. And then it tests the same thing again with the next one. And this, nothing changes here so far, because 12, 13, 24, that's a normal um, array. Between, well, it's already sorted. And then we test with the 10. 10 is smaller than all of these, so it's going to be set at the front. Now our subarray is here, it's just 10 to 24. Then the next one is just the 3, and the thing compares, okay, smaller than 10, so it's going to be set at the beginning. Now our subarray are these 5, then it compares 6. 6 is bigger than 3 but smaller than 10, so it's going to be set in the middle of those two. So technically you have to compare every single um, every single number, whether it's smaller and bigger than the previous components, but I just skipped that part because, well, we all know that 24 is bigger than 12 and 13, so, you know, it's a given. Here's also the pseudocode, which is exactly the same as I just described.